has been some confusion over the um, broaching jig for making the keyways and the drivers and I have always used the 45 degree method and somebody said well what the heck is the 45 degree method well what it is is cutting the, the keyway at a 45 degree to the crank okay now I've made my own bushing here that has a longer a longer um, guide to give it a little more accuracy as you can see this portion of the locating pin sticks through this represents the bore of the wheel this represents the bore of the crank pin the right proper distance which is on this case for the K4 was one and three quarters on this end on the other end here is another locomotive that I did one time I guess I think it was an Allen Mogul that used the same uh, used the same jig I just had an extra piece on the jig to make another uh, set up for, for a different one to use the same crank pin this one over here was made up for the 040 Camelbacks which is a I guess a 7 8 bore or 1 inch bore in the main axle and a 7 16 crank pin hole and whatever the distance was inch and a half I think so that's what was made up for that now what happens is what I usually do is I machine the drivers with the center hole and then I set them up on the mill and I indicate that hole and I bore this hole on all of the wheels take one out put one in take one out put one in and just continue to bore them each one separately I generally center drill them in the, in the machine take them over to the drill press drill a rough hole then bring them all back and then carefully bore each one out and I have usually put a layout line across the crank pin lobe and indicate that off the back of the off the back of the mill back back there off the ways to line it up so uh, a little bit premature when I start the, the uh, Mikados I'll cover that in more in depth but just to get an idea so people know what's going on this is how I do it now you're going to say well, well how does that make it 90 degree of each other well if you cut the crank the, the keyway in the main axle or in any of the main axle, the main driver axles, or the driver axles straight through, you know, par par parallel with each other, per or in line with each other, then what happens is, and I don't know if I can do this, I have to turn it over. When you rotate the keyways like this, as you can see, the crank pin hole here and the crank pin up, hole up there are now 90 degrees from each other. And uh, I've got this method. I wasn't the inventor of it. An old gentleman by the name of Ben Nixon taught me how to use that system. And I don't know where he got it. I think he claimed that he got it off of HO or O gauge. But um, I thought it was a great idea and I've been using it ever since. I've passed it on to a number of people. And it saves you the trouble of finding an index head and you can just put it in the ordinary Kirk vise right inside the vise, you know, indicate it within the thousands over six inches and then have it, it should even be right on if you can cut the keyway cut a keyway next case cut a keyway cut a keyway now as far as the keyways you really should make those keyways right on the money and to the point where the key is pressed in any slop of that key is going to get a variance in the in the angularity of the crank pin and it could uh, if you are not aware of it you should be that when you press a wheel on they rotate very slightly if there's any play in that key so you want the keys to be fairly tight almost a press fit you grease them up real good press them together and I guarantee you they'll be right on the money uh, I've used this method on all the locomotives I've built and I've never had a problem with it and uh, I find it to be a very easy method uh, and of course it's unconventional from the prototype but uh, sometimes we have to do that to make 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 things easier one of these days uh, well actually one of these days I'm going to make a quartering machine I don't know if I ever have time but somebody out there that has a little more skill than me to make a and more patience probably to make a machine that actually bored the crank pin holes at 45 degrees after the wheels were pressed on they cleaned up or bored out uh, the crank pin holes from each set of wheels together as, as a set 
and then those wheels stayed on those axles and never came off when they needed to change the tires of course they just took the tires off and, and re, re, um, shrunk the new tires on but those wheel sets always stay together now it doesn't make any difference which side the wheel you put on you turn the wheels one way or the other they're always going to be the same way now this is designed so that the right hand side which would be the engineer side of the locomotive leading the fireman side the pensy god knows why wanted to make their side the left their lead a left hand lead meaning that the engineer or the the, the the fireman side was the leading side in the forward position in the in the forward running position now i didn't make it that way on the k4 i made it uh, I didn't want to remake the jig. I didn't see any necessity to it. Uh, it makes absolutely no difference when the engine's running. You can't you never tell which side the lead was on at all. You couldn't you couldn't tell that. But um, this is how I do it. I hope this has cleared it up for you and uh, give it a try. It's a really easy method to do. You use the ordinary Minuteman brooches that you can buy from um, the supply house somewhere, and they have a a little shim that goes in here so you cut it first without the shim and then put the 16th shim in it it cuts another shaves another 16th out of the keyway I use a 3 16th keyway seems to be suffice enough uh, I've never needed any more than that and uh, it works great and uh, good luck with it